Hello everybody, uh, how are you doing? We are all doing great. Uh, today we are going to talk about uh, one of the citation managers, the greatest citation managers. But before we start, let me, uh, at the beginning, just give a hint to remind you about citation managers. Okay? Uh, what do we mean by citation? Citation is something like a quotation. Okay? What we used to write before that in, the, in our research and our articles, uh, about the author and his name, the ti his title, uh, the date of uh, the, and the date. All of this, this is called citation. Okay, there is uh, like a number or something written besides a sentence, and in the reference you will find uh, the rest of the data. Okay, this is citation. Of course, we used to take uh, errors in uh, doing it manually in the past, but thanks to Allah, now we get. Uh, these citation managers. One of the uh, uh, examples of them like EndNote, like Mendeley, but I myself, I prefer using Mendeley, which what, what I'm going to talk about today, okay? Mendeley is one of the citation managers, okay? Uh, very popular, uh, and really this one is uh, very nice, I, and you will see with me today. Uh, this one was developed really by one of the greatest publishers, who, which is Elsevier. Uh, Elsevier, as we all know, is an old company uh, which really had a big era in publishing uh, and maybe it's published 420,000 uh, articles per, per year. That's a very big, really, number. Okay, and it, its archives contains more, more than 13 million articles. Okay. Uh, so they developed Mendeley, and luckily they have done and they have developed this program for free. It's completely free. Okay, so you can download it easily. Okay, just go. You have to go to their website uh, and just sign in. You have to make an account, download it. Uh, it's got many benefits. One of the most uh, nice benefits is that you can use it on many platforms. So you can use it on, uh, either on iOS, you can use it on uh, Windows uh, platform, you can use it on your mobile phone, Android, you can use it with uh, iOS mobile phone, so really it's got variety. Uh, so this one of the nice things. It's very light, okay, it's, you won't have find lots of uh, software issues while set up it or uh, like some other programs. Uh, one of the nice things also, uh, it's not only a citation manager, but it's more than this, it's a lot more than this. One of its benefits is that it's citation manager, but also this one is a PDF viewer, so you can use it as a PDF viewer. So, and we, I can sh show you the whole uh, of its features uh, practically later on in this video, okay? Before we go for hands-on, also you have to know that <coughs> when you are using this uh, Mendeley, when you create an account, you are creating an account, they are giving you about 2 GB of, uh, of storage. These 2 GB are on the servers online. So, as an example, I got some articles or some books that I need to read, so I saved those articles. Those articles are gonna be not are not gonna be saved on your computer or mobile phone. They are gonna be saved on the servers, so that you can retrieve them anytime on any device. Just log in your account, and you will find all your data accessible for you anytime and at any place. So if you forgot your laptop, your computer, you don't have your data, you got them saved and you can retrieve them. This is one of the great things that uh, is available on Mendeley, okay? Uh, what is paid here is that if you got, need more than two GB of storage, you need to upgrade your uh, capacity, storage capacity for uh, Mendeley, okay? So now I'm gonna go for hands-on. I'm gonna apply all of this uh, online, okay? I will try to create an account, download uh, Mendeley and, uh, and its pl uh, plugins, uh, okay? Uh, so, and try to, and show you how we are gonna use it as a citation manager. So we will start with downloading and creating an account. All what you have to do is just go for mendeley.com, okay? This is a home page. You'll find here download tab and create an account, sign in, okay? Uh, what I, my concern now is for downloading, how to download it. So we'll just go for download, okay? Uh, it will automatically detect your uh, platform. So my platform here is desktop uh, for Windows, okay? So uh, we're gonna download this, okay? Uh, according to a platform, it will appear for you. And if you go down there, you will find 
it's just telling you that it's available for uh, Mac, uh, mobile phones, uh, iPads on App Store, and also on Android for Google Play. Okay. Uh, in the middle, you will find here citation plugin and web importer. Okay. Citation plugin, you can uh, you can set it up with the program. Okay. After you download the program, you will just go with the steps next next until it's set up. Okay. Uh, and then, of course, you have to uh, do before you open the program. You have to create an account. It's very easy. Just go there, create an, a free account. Okay. And after you set up the program, just enter your ID and password. It will ask you if you want to install the plugin for Word, this one, citation plugin. Tell him yes, install it, and you are done. Okay. Uh, here we need to have a web importer. It helps you a lot in downloading citations. Okay. This is how it looks like. There in the top right of the screen, this import uh, to Mendeley. Okay. So you have to download this one. So you are going to Press on find out more, okay? It will give it, get you to a page where you have to select your uh, browser. So uh, as an example, I got Chrome, so you're gonna just press on this, you will find down in uh, an install Chrome browser extension and go through the steps very easy. And you will find it up there, the Mendeley uh, importer, okay? Uh, until now, okay, if you follow these steps, you have already the web importer and you get your Mendeley set up. So there is, this is Mendeley, if you opened it. I got, of course, some uh, articles, but you will find it without anything, it will be like that, okay? What you need to know is that Mendeley uh, is not saving the data directly to your computer, but it's saving it to your storage on the servers. So if you uh, download it, any citations through the web importer, it's not downloaded on your computer, in fact, it's downloaded to your account on the servers. So you need to synchronize them after uh, downloading the citation. I will show you how, okay? So as an example, uh, I get here some articles. Just to go as an example for anything, any uh, uh, PubMed for uh, Google Scholar, uh, any, any site, okay, I got some articles here. I'm gonna just press on uh, the web importer of Mendeley, okay. This will open, you have to sign in for, for because uh, every time you have to log in, you have to sign in, just here, press sign in. Whatever you, the article you, you selected, you can check up out them from here and just check the articles. As an example, I will select those three articles and just press save. Okay. Okay. Here they are saved. And this telling me read PDF across, it means that they don't have PDF. They just downloaded the citations, the references. Okay. So you are all done from the site. Okay. You got your uh, citations. Okay. You got your references. But when you go to your Mendeley there, I will go for recently added, I will not find them. Okay. I need first to synchronize. Down there you will find it synchronizing and your data coming up. Okay. So you got your data here. I want to. I will now show you how to use it on your uh, with Word. Okay. So as an example, this file. Okay. I'm gonna go here and just go for references and press on insert citation. Okay. This window will appear. Press on go to Mendeley. If you get your data saved already, as we already have. If you know. Uh, something you know, we need to search because maybe you have lots of data you need to search for an author you want to search, search for an author or uh, title or year you can read, write it over there and just search or you can just press go to Mendeley and select manually as an example I'm going to select this one okay and just to press cite okay it will come come there. You can change the style from there. I'm using Harvard reference. You can change whatever style you want. If you can't find your style there, you can press on more styles and find your style out and 
uh, ch check it, okay? There is my uh, citation, my reference, but if you go down there, you will not find anything, okay? So, because at the beginning, for the first, and mainly for the first uh, reference, you have to put it manually down. So, I'm just gonna do, go down and just press on this tab, insert bibliography, okay? And press on there, you will find it automatically coming down. If you, done, uh, if you uh, do the same step for another one, for another citation, you don't need to uh, go down and make insert bibliography, it will go automatically. As an example, I will do, get another uh, reference. This one is an example. I'm gonna press cite. It will come here and down there, it's there. You can find it, okay? So it's available there. It's very easy, very simple, okay? You can cite during while you are writing. It's very easy. Okay. Some last thing I'm gonna show you. Okay, about uh, Mendeley. Uh, I will show you as an example. Uh, of course, here you can uh, organize your work. You can create a folder uh, and collect your data related to a, a certain subject. You can collect them and create a folder and name it so that you can organize your work and you don't have to search in all, all of your data. Okay, uh, you can use it as, as I said, as a PDF view or as an example. I'll check for a, a file here of PDF as an example. This one, just press on it. Here it is. It will open. You can use it. It's very nice PDF viewer. Okay. Okay. Uh, something else you need, last thing you need to know about Mendeley, it's not only about articles. You can also uh, insert uh, a citation for a book. As an example, this one, I will take a book here. Yes, this one. As an example, this, this book, I want to insert it as a citation in my uh, uh, file here. So I'm just going to go there, insert citation, go to Mendeley. Okay, here it is this, this uh, file, this is a book, just press on it, uh, yes it opens, I'm sorry, press on it and cite, okay, it will go there. The name of the book, Plotsman, the, the author, the date, and if you go down, yeah, because it was already there, yeah, Plotsman, SB 2016, it was already there. Of course, Elsevier got lots of literature, so there, up there, you can search for literatures online. Uh, if they are available in, on Elsevier, they will appear there. As an example, I will write me, and I will press search. It will come lots of articles, lots of articles. Here, load more, load whatever you want, so you can search some articles. If you need some articles, uh, you can search by name, you can search whatever. Uh, you want for a for the names of articles. Uh, something else you need to know about the Mendeley uh, online uh, on your account. If you signed in on Mendeley, okay, and entered uh, your page, you'll find it. Don't making for you. You see, it's something like uh, like uh, uh, Twitter and something like uh, Facebook. You'll find it something. Uh, communication, com uh, you can m make a com community on, uh, on Mendeley so that you can have, make a group, join a group or make a group with some of your friends and you can share data with e each other, okay? Also you can uh, make your uh, CV there you if you get some, uh, uh, some articles you have published you can put them there uh, of yours. Uh, really, it's very nice one. Okay, um, so that's all what you need, or the most main basics that you need, need to know about mainly to use it. Uh, thanks a lot for you. See you later. Thank you.